Lerner, please rise and take a reaffirming oath pursuant to the committee rules. Raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you are about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Please be seated. Let the record indicate that the witness did answer in the affirmative. Ms. Lerner, put up slide one, please. On October 10, October, in October 2010, you told a Duke University group, and I quote, the Supreme Court dealt a huge blow overturning a 100-year-old precedent. Basically, corporations couldn't give directly to political campaigns. And everyone is up in arms because they don't like it. The Federal Election Commission can't do anything about it. They want the IRS to fix the problem. Ms. Lerner, what exactly wanted to fix the problem caused by Citizen United? What exactly does that mean? Uh, would you please turn the mic on? My counsel has advised me that I have not waived my constitutional rights under the Fifth Amendment, and on his advice, I will decline to answer any question on the subject matter of this hearing. So you are not going to tell us who wanted to fix the problem caused by Citizens United? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ms. Lerner, in February 2011, you emailed your colleagues in the IRS the following, Tea Party matter, very dangerous. This could be the vehicle to go to court on the issue of whether Citizens United overturning the ban on corporate spending applies to tax-exempt rules. Counsel and Judy Kindell need to be on this one, please. Cincy should probably not, all in caps, have these cases. What did you mean by Cincy should not have these cases? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer the question. Ms. Lerner, why would you say Tea Party cases were very dangerous? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ms. Lerner, in September 2010, you emailed your subordinates about initiating a parentheses, C4 project and wrote, we need to be cautious so that it isn't a per se political project. Why were you worried about this being perceived as a political project? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ms. Lerner, Mike Sito, manager of EO Technical in Washington, testified that you ordered Tea Party cases to undergo a multi-tier review. He testified, and I quote, she sent me emails saying that when these cases need to go through, I say again, she sent me email saying that when these cases need to go through multi-tier review and they will eventually have to go to Ms. Kindell and the Chief Counsel's office. Why did you order Tea Party cases to undergo a multi-tier review? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ms. Lerner, in June 2011, you requested that Holly Paz obtain a copy of the tax-exempt application filed by Crossroads GPS so that your senior technical advisor, Judy Kendall, could review it and summarize the issues for you. Ms. Ms. Lerner, why did you want to personally order that they pull Crossroads GPS, Carl Rove's organization's application? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ms. Lerner, in June 2012, you were part of an email exchange that appeared to be about writing new regulations on political speech 
for 501c4 groups, and the parenth in parentheses, your quote, off plan in 2013. Ms. Lerner, what does off plan mean? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ms. Lerner, in February of 2014, President Obama stated that there was not a smidgen of corruption in the IRS targeting. Ms. Lerner, do you believe that there is not a smidgen of corruption in the IRS targeting of conservatives? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully <clears throat> exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ms. Lerner, on Saturday, our Committee's General Counsel sent an email to your attorney saying, I understand that Ms. Lerner is willing to testify and she is requesting a one-week delay in talking, <clears throat> in talking to the chairman, <clears throat> excuse me, in, in talking to the chairman, wanted to make sure that was right. Your lawyer, in response to that question, gave a one-word email response, yes. Are you still seeking a one-week delay in order to testify? On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Ladies and gentlemen, seeking uh, the truth is the obligation of this committee. I can see no point in going further. I have no expectation that Ms. Lerner will cooperate with this committee, and therefore we stand adjourned.